So what is PEA? PEA is palmitoyl ethanolamide, and it's a fatty acid amide that the body makes naturally. All mammals make it. It's a regulating autocoid compound that, that is a cell-to-cell -cell communication, helps the body modulate inflammation and pain reception. So what does it mean when you know they refer to it as the body's own? It's just that it's made in almost every cell of the body and primarily in the cell membranes. And uh, it's, it's in a family of fatty acid amides that are, that are continually being regulated in a very local way. So if you injure your hand, your foot, your shoulder, whatever, that you could have 30 times or more elevated levels of PEA at the site of that pain, the injury, and so on uh, uh, to help bring down the inflammation, to help uh, control the COX-2 uh, production, and so on. So who is Vital Pet Sciences PEA for? Well, we've designed this as an, as an ultra-micronized palmitoyl ethanolamide that uh, is food grade, it's grass certified, generally recognized as safe. And so it is designed for use with, with dogs, cats, horses, pets, yeah. and so on. So you know the story about Katie and her dog Dixie, right? Sure. Yeah. Dixie is 11 and I've had her since she was two. Her immune system was really low and she was having recurring ear infections, which um, had led her to seizures a couple times. And she also had pinched nerves in her neck and some slip discs in her spine. She wasn't able to lift her head. She would cry when we tried to touch her. She wasn't eating and she was sleeping all the time because she was in so much pain. I felt completely helpless. You suggested Vital Pet Sciences PEA. Yeah, and it was natural and you had already gone the drug route. Yes. Yeah. It was horrible. So how did that work out for her? It worked amazing. She, within 24 hours, was being able to go out to the bathroom unassisted. She was eating again. Her tail was wagging. That's amazing. So within one yes. day, she was turning A complete around. 180. Why do you think that the PEA was so successful? It sounds like she had, uh, meaning Dixie, mm -hmm. <laughs> like had uh, a, a very good uh, overall profile for exactly what PEA has been researched to be able to influence. So it can help diminish the local, you know, where, where Dixie had the localized pain, right. but then also help the body in general. The, the PEA covers just so many more ways uh, that, that the body produces inflammation and produces pain. The other issue is that the chronicity component. And just like with Dixie, just very quickly brought down that acute inflammatory reaction. And then all of a sudden, there's less inflammation. Right. And then the nerves aren't impinged. And then there's less pain. And then there's signal conduction. And then go from lame to Active. Or broken to unbroken. Un yeah, exactly. Yeah. So why would you recommend PEA over other products for Dixie or any other dog? One of the more common supplements for uh, that, that dogs are commonly on is glucosamine. You know, one of the research studies that we're doing with Texas A&M, just comparing it to glucosamine, and we're getting a much broader anti-inflammatory and anti-pain effect. Then there's the whole systemic effect of that, wow, we didn't even know like this is an older dog and now they're moving around like they were when they were much younger. So to sum it up, what would you like pet owners and veterinarians to know about Vital Pet Science's PEA? Primarily that it has a great safety profile. So that's one of the biggest concerns I think that that any veterinarian would have and then certainly any pet owner. What would be a general list of things that can um, have PEA as an application help overall no matter which thing it is? It's, it's a pretty broad <laughs> when you look at the body of research. You know, everything from skin and skin, skin and, and allergies yes. and uh, the glial system and things to do with nerves and 
pain and inflammation and immunity. So nerves, pain, inflammation, immunity, ears, skin, joints, gut. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you.